so now so now karibu to alboa cinema now today i have a certain reaction to uh not a reaction really i have something to say about the, there is this uh tv show the citizen television called shamba la wanyama now there was a poster going around I'll, I'll, I'll put it over here that uh, was saying that it was cancelled and there were other reasons to it and uh, I was curious you know uh, to be honest with you I had not really heard of it so I had to go over there to view Sasa and pay is it 60 bob and I watched uh, a couple of episodes there so I have something to say about that also but the the thing is first of all moja kidogo to wase huyo tobacco Now now if we are going to you know if we are going to be a bit honest about uh, what i think about this particular incident you know there is um, now i'm looking at this kenyans.co.k it's just uh, just one of them that i picked uh, uh, you know, searching so it shows citizen tv council shamba la wanyama show considered blasphemous after pilot ep- episode so i did watch that pilot episode and i i i get it i get it as far as uh the messaging is concerned first things first because i'm looking at was it really cancel for that is it quality is it what the quality falls right in within most of what kenyan content looks like so it, i don't think it is the quality of the shots and what not uh if you're looking at the drama the writing it's it's, it's kind of you know similar the same to, to most of these other shows the mother in laws and what of you uh what what other thing uh yeah so in in my opinion because now it is uh, exclusively on view sasa so when i went to view sasa i did find you no know, i put i found it's trending number one, obviously because of the the news the little things that have come up not little things i mean the 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 the, the news that it was cancelled now that that is out you know it's it, it i think many people were were when they to see why is it a strategy by the citizen royal media to, to push guys to view sasa i mean it's something to consider but why not have both like have it on both uh platforms the thing is though citizen has a lot of lucrative uh, uh religious based programming especially on their Sunday is crazy those shows they go I, I don't really watch anymore because the same things and what not and I'm not really inclined that way when I watch is we do Sunday is I ought to kill the Lord anyway the yeah so they they do have that and I think there's a lot of these pastors and churches have a lot of money that they they, they put in uh, on the cities and I think one of those shows is like over 600 Gs per by episode to go shoot like if it's for 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 citizen thing it's over yeah because i had asked that them once you know and I was trying to find pricing if it's over 600 gs it can go up to 1.2 million i believe and that's one day so there is that and then there is of course the general religious nature of the community of kenya so there is that so they they i i think there is a lot of credence to the fact that this series was put to was pushed to view sasa only because uh, of its religious content and the the fact that they were going straight at the pastors do going t- saying exactly how it goes on uh what they do the scams they what not so it shows it in another black and white and i have issues with the way they went about it because some of those scenes man those scenes are long scenes of just they are just talking and you see what they are to- what they are saying in my opinion is what they should be showing us not telling us all oh, this pastor is corrupt this way is doing these things this way is doing this like you're just telling us and then maybe sometimes you tell us then you show us again like do you understand this <laughs> level of scripting it's not 
the most sophisticated, but I think that for something as heavy as this, you need to have the best writing possible. I think the main actor carried that, you know, the, the, he carried it quite a bit, you know, they like could tell the, the pastor person, I have some clips that I, you know, they, they have a really good app view, so, so you can't take screenshots, but I recorded a screen, I can, I can show you, like his acting was really, he was really with it, you know, he's... They, they showed us how these people calling themselves dad and mom and <laughs> you know those comebacks. Me, me, but they, I, for, forget about it. Maybe there is these churches and all these pastors and all this fakeness. Miss me with that nonsense. Because it that's what it is. And and I think because of the so many of, 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 of our current religious folk, they are these con artists. And they wield a lot of economic power over these stations. So they, I think they pushed this to that view. So I, I suspect because it was money was spent on it, they couldn't just trash it. But they possibly could. I, I don't know. I just don't know how much pull these people have with, with these stations. But on a more serious note, personally, this is why I don't watch Kenyan series. Because they... The, the writing is horrendous. This show has a really good premise that you could really push it and really make it something, you know, substantial. But you guys are just doing the same old, just una catch in five, three, five minutes. What are the telling us what we already know that this uh, setup is that this pastor is corrupt and is 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 taking money and is grabbing land and what like we already know this why do you keep sit why do you sit down for a whole five minutes to do that dialogue and then you these people seated somewhere and it was, there was so much drama in world like he drama at theater quapo big it didn't feel authentic so those are the kind of things like frustrate me like he keep me by quite successful but and you <laughs> You should just show for to me it will make it a longer series, it will be more interesting if you could just show people instead of having some characters sit down and tell us what's what's supposed to be going on or what's going on. Well just show people that. And that's what's really frustrating because now me and the watch episode being a cycle and the life because it's in Ibo. Content is smart like in a bow. There's the plot lines are just too predictable. And anyway, but personally, I just I, I don't think it was right that it was removed from the main channel. I think the religious folk and those that leadership of various cults we have around the country, they were wali our in your pesa citizen. I think they put uh, pressure. I think they put the thumb on the scale to make sure this thing is not there. But it's on view. So if you want to go see it. Personally, it's not uh, it's it's not done to my liking. Yeah, so ni mesema too, but even your kuko. I don't like to pretend, guys. I'm sorry. I I can't talk about the things that bother me the most. The things that I would like to work the, out the most. The things that I know that make things successful. We all know this, but I don't know why we are not able to actually give proper writers a chance. Like, why are you guys writing things like this? You need drama, boss. This is not television. Well, I'm co involved. You know that. But they should have probably let the Kenyans decide because BP Amates Zango deserve. Otherwise, subscribe to Alboa Cinema.